What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So, Tesla just rolled out the latest software update not including the holiday release in the form of 2024.39.15 and this comes bundled with FSD 13. It's actually FSD 13.2.1 but this is supposed to have a ton of updates and mind-blowing features as everyone likes to, uh, to put it. We're going to put it to the test for this video though, we're gonna strictly talk about the update itself, not FSD. We will hop on that and do our demo drive in a little bit, but a quick call out for that. Yes, the button is here now. You can start FSD supervised with the press of the button in a parked position. So pretty cool if you're leaving your driveway, leaving a store and in a shopping center mall, you can initiate it. It will reverse and go forward and switch gears as needed. Let's jump in the Model 3 and check it out. Okay, as you can see back in the Model 3 and the first call out on 2024.39.15 is obviously FSD supervised has been updated to V13.2.1. This is one of the main changes obviously in this build and it comes with a ton of improvements. So let's scroll up here. I'm not gonna read through it all. You can pause the video if you'd like, but you can tell it has a massive amount of improvements here from 36 hertz for full resolution AI for video inputs to obviously improved camera cleaning, whatever that might regard to, could be for melting snow or something away if it's blocking one of the cameras, dynamic routing around road closures, which displays them along an affected route when they are detected by the fleet. It's insane. This is probably one of the biggest updates we've been waiting on for a while, and I'm very excited to put it to the test. There are still a number of improvements coming with three times the model size scaling, three times the model context length scaling, audio inputs for better handling emergency vehicles, which is a new data point in here that it does prompt you to opt in or opt out of, improved handling of camera occlusions. There's a ton here. So we will again in a later video be putting this through the test, but for now, I just wanted to let you know it's here and one of the main features of this build. Obviously, you have your typical sale notes for FSD supervised. And then again here, FSD supervised from park. There's a few conditions that need to be met in order to use this. Mainly, you have to obviously be seated in the driver's seat, buckled in, and making sure the camera camera is the cabin camera is unobstructed. So once you do that, you press the brake to confirm it's disabled, and then pressing the button will allow autopilot to allow the brakes and engage FSD. We are on the right track here. I think this is definitely going to be huge for obviously the cyber cab and all that, but what Tesla's end game is with the rest of the fleet as well. Again, like we just talked about the update to data sharing, this strictly is in regards to audio recordings. When it records or recognizes an emergency vehicle approaching, it will share that data to the mothership. If you so choose, again, you can opt in or opt out of that. And then camera visibility detection. At the end of your drive, you will receive a notification if poor camera visibility is detected. To view these images, go to service, camera visibility. Images do not leave the vehicle and are not shared unless data sharing preferences permit. So that's the main call outs. And again, it is all centered around FSD. Obviously also, as you can see down here, we do have a new uh, update notification under our car. And when you scroll down through that, you can see it lives on the service tab. When you click on this, there is a new service menu for items that are changed here, in addition to camera visibility being one of the main ones. And as you can see, we don't have any call outs here uh, since it says no camera visibility issues detected. Could be because we have only driven once with this update. Okay, and what everyone wants to see right here on the new screen, you have this button that is actually not enabled by default. You do actually have to go into your settings under autopilot and swipe this on, but it is start FSD supervised from park. And you do have an option to keep brake confirm on or off. It will actually do it for you if you'd like, if you want to disable it or not, it is another option, but that is new here as well. Anyways, beyond that, this is the button a lot of people are excited about. It's kind of how CyberCab works and all that. Now, once you actually want to navigate to a location, you will have the option for it to start reversing or going into drive right when you meet those criteria. basically drivers sitting down like we talked about earlier and buckled up and you tap the brake. This will take you from 
almost end-to-end -end driving, hopefully with minimal intervention. Now Scroll over. You can see how this updated alone. You can actually go ahead and put your seatbelt on and it'll turn blue. And now you have the option to press and hold to activate FSD supervised. Once you do, you would tap the brake to activate drive and you're on your way. So a lot of exciting things coming in this build. I'm very curious to see how it's gonna work out. We will do our drives and again, we will have another video on FSD supervised version 13.2.1. So make sure to subscribe for that. Anyways, everything else is pretty basic in this build. It does have a complete build of 2024.39.15 A694504 CAE1. So obviously you can see it's running FSD supervised 1321, but no other callouts for anything else new in the settings menu. I was surprised though, under autopilot, there was not a notification indicator letting us know about a new option being listed here. However, obviously it was pretty easy to find once you started looking. Your locks, lights, everything else is just how it was from the prior builds. So yeah, nothing crazy, nothing new. We are obviously waiting on the holiday release that Tesla just announced will be coming bundled hopefully in the next week or two. So nice to see with that. But that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think. Are you excited for this build? If you've already received it, how is FSD 13 treating you? Is it mind-blowing like they say? Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.